Hey everyone, this is Ben with RegisteredNurseRN.com and in this anatomy lesson I'm going to cover the patella bone, also known as the kneecap. And this bone is a part of the appendicular skeleton and it gets its name from a Latin word that means shallow pan or shallow dish. Now anatomists classify this bone as a sesamoid bone, which is usually considered a subcategory of short bones. And it also happens to be the largest sesamoid bone in the human skeleton. So what is the purpose of the patella bone? Well, because it's located within the quadriceps tendon, it provides additional strength and leverage for those muscles, while also providing protection for the knee joint. It also serves as a landmark for nurses and other healthcare professionals when checking the patellar reflex, as Nurse Sarah indicated in our video on the reflex assessments. Now let's examine the anatomy of the patella, and you'll notice right away that it has a triangular shape that sort of resembles a rounded arrowhead. And in this picture here, we're gonna be looking at the anterior or front view of the left patella bone. And we'll notice right away that the inferior or bottom portion of the patella comes to somewhat of a point, which is called the apex of the patella. And the word apex literally just means a point or a pointed structure. And this is always gonna be pointing toward your foot. So that's how you'll know the proper orientation of this bone. And this apex allows for the attachment of the patellar ligament, which connects to that tibial tuberosity that I covered in a previous video on the anterior or front surface of that tibia bone. Now toward the superior or top border of the patella, we have what's called the base. And this is going to allow for the attachment of the quadriceps femoris muscle. The left and right sides of the patella are called the lateral and medial borders and the lateral border is going to allow for the attachment of the vastus lateralis, and the medial border is going to allow for the attachment of the vastus medialis muscle. Now let's take a look at the posterior or back view of the patella bone, and you'll notice that it has two large smooth facets for the upper portion, as well as a rough surface toward the inferior or lower portion of the bone. Now this rough inferior portion is called the surface for the patellar ligament. And this can help you determine that you're looking at the posterior view of the patella because it looks quite a bit different from that front view. And as the name suggests, part of the patellar ligament also attaches to this rough surface. Now above this rough surface, you'll notice those two smoother facets, which allow for articulation with the femur bone. And if you think back to my video on the femur, I talked about the patellar surface of the femur, which was a depression that accommodates the patella bone. Now the lateral facet of the patella is gonna articulate with the lateral condyle of the femur, and it is the larger of the two facets. And that's gonna tell you whether you have a left or right patella bone. Just find the bigger facet on the posterior side of that patella and you'll know that that bigger facet represents the lateral side, which is going to be pointing away from the body's midline. And in this picture, we can tell that it is the patella of the left leg. And then finally, we have the medial facet, which is smaller and it has a sharper angle to it. And it is going to articulate with the medial condyle of the femur bone and it's always gonna be positioned toward the midline of the body. Okay, that wraps up this video over the anatomy of the patella bone. And if you check our description below, you can click a link that will take you to a free quiz on our website that can help you test your knowledge. In addition, we have a whole playlist of anatomy videos covering different bones and so forth, so you might wanna check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.